Did you know that over 50% of women in India suffer from anemia? Most of them are unaware of their condition. Anemia is a major silent killer. It's an underlying cause for a large percentage of maternal and fetal deaths. The only way to diagnose anemia is through an accurate hemoglobin test, which is a daunting task in itself. Spending hours in a clinic or a hospital for a blood test is taxing. In remote parts of the country, it's not even feasible. But there is an invention that tackles the challenge of accessibility and affordability of anemia testing. Amber Shivastav is a former student of the Indian Institute of Technology, New Delhi. He has come up with a pocket-sized, portable, affordable device for anemia testing. Let's take a look at how this small device is helping us fight an important challenge in India. I'm Janvi Sharma. I'm uh, basically a housewife and a full-time mom. I delivered my son five months back and uh, during my pregnancy days I had a lot of uh, fatigue and headache. Uh, also I used to get tired very soon and I used to sleep all day long. So I visited my doctor and she told me that I was anemic and I had low hemoglobin levels. Uh, I wanted something that, could, uh, that I could easily check at home and I don't have to travel to the doctor every time. Coming to the rescue of many expecting mothers like Janvi is this former IITM, Amba Srivastava. He has developed a mobile phone size hemoglobin meter dubbed the True HB Hemometer. It's the first innovation from IIT Delhi's biomedical engineering department that is hitting the market soon. What does your device do? So it gives you uh, an easy test then and there and on, uh, on the spot at a very affordable price. So you just get a feedback right there on the, di on the digital display. How do you envisage this product actually being used? Hemoglobin is related to general health. It is related to the females in the house, kids in the house and the males at the house. So uh, every family of five needs to have a device to monitor their hemoglobin level with their body weight and BMI and BP on a, on a monthly basis to keep a track of their general health. I'm assuming this is much faster than any other test because I've gone for a hemoglobin test yeah. and I certainly don't get a result in 40 seconds. Is that fair to say? Yes, they take at least an overnight. At least they take 24 hours to report. And does this device store data as well? Yes, it can store up to 1000 readings. Okay, let's try and summarize. You know, if you had to say these are the three advantages of this invention of yours, what would you put on that list? Rechargeability, uh, temperature tolerance, performance, accuracy, and uh, ultra portability. The True HP system is based on the principle of reflectance photometry. A drop of blood and the results come out in a matter of seconds. So you basically turn on the device, it gives you a batch code which should uh, match with the bottle. Okay, so I have the bottle of strips Yes. and you're going to take a strip out of this. Correct. Now it is showing the strip sign. Mm -hmm. So you place It's a asking for a strip. Yeah. It's asking for a strip. So you now place a fresh strip into the uh, device. The moment you do that, it starts showing a blood drop. So it's asking for a blood drop. Okay. Now we'll have to prick you. I am the volunteer, so yeah. I am going to offer myself up Correct. for testing today. So you have to massage your finger, the patient's finger a little, hold it at the tip and then press it against and then do the prick. Okay. And now you place the drop on the strip. Okay. And now within 30 40 seconds it will show you the reading so here's your result yeah. good You're 40. Not anemic. yeah i'm not a need yeah. validating the efficacy of this portable device is the all india institute of medical sciences in delhi we tested on about 200 samples and we compared the hemoglobin content by this true hp meter with the standard HP meter and we found the results were quite comparable. 
and in this context therefore it appears that it may be a good potential uh, to look at hemoglobin levels where there is an instant requirement of hemoglobin estimation. To achieve sufficient and consistent quality, thousands of these devices are manufactured with precision. And making sure that they remain commercially viable is Rig Nano System, a company established to produce this product. Today, where do you stand commercially on this uh, product? So we already it's, we have talked with few labs, the top three labs in the country. We have already had uh, discussions initiated with them. They are very excited uh, about this particular product. They are going to use it in their labs as well as in collection centers. We also have uh, discussions going along with uh, hospitals. And most importantly, we have discussions going along with the uh, NRHM, which is National Rural Health Mission. It's a body of the government. And they're looking at taking it out into the villages through health workers, ASHA workers, and use this particular device uh, for pregnant women. I'm asking you this, asking you to make an honest assessment. Is it really one of its kind in India? It's absolutely the unique product. I think it's unique not only in terms of the medical devices, Almost all medical devices, and I don't know of any other medical device which has so far been manufactured with IP held in India itself. With on-the-spot results, accuracy, portability, and ease of use, the True HB meter is aiming to achieve zero undiagnosed anemia. Our vision is to basically reduce anemia and actually bring it down to zero. But beyond that, the real impact of bringing down anemia would be multilateral, uh, multidimensional. Um, on one hand, people will become more rational because their cognitive skills will get uh, improved. On the other hand, their physical abilities will enhance and our SME ecosystem and production ecosystem will uh, get, a, get a boost. So it's just not about uh, bringing down the, uh, making the anemia shunya, it's also about uh, uh, making the inefficiencies of the country shun. From cancer genomics to a virtual liver to a couple of bright youngsters who have come up with a handy solution for diagnosing anemia, it's time to see if our expert Dr. Devi Shetty is impressed with these innovations. Dr. Shetty, you've had a chance to understand the innovations by Strand Life Sciences and the true HB hemometer. Do you think that both of them are plugging an important gap right now? Very important gap. Why? Extremely important because the um, virtual liver they have created, it can screen these potential drugs which will have a big impact on health, uh, the, the liver diseases without really subjecting a patient for these trials. In case they have some serious side effects, it can be rejected in the beginning itself. And also that's going to show to the rest of the world what India is capable of doing. I want to focus on each one of the inno innovations that we profiled. You've talked about the virtual liver and uh, you know, the advantages that it brings to the table. Could the virtual liver be extended to other virtual organs or am I being too far-sighted here? No, no, no. It, can be, uh, uh, it can be extended to simulate any organ. Hmm. The organs like kidney, there can be virtual kidney, there can be virtual brain, virtual intestine, there can be anything. I'm not going to ask you a sensitive question, Dr. Shetty. Do you think that the level of innovation that we have showcased today is exciting? Both these projects are going to touch the lives of millions of people, especially the hemoglobin, handheld hemoglobin meter. It's going to touch 28 million pregnant ladies every day of, uh, the, you know, the day-to-day -day life of these ladies of this country. So the, a country which produces the largest number of babies in the world, hemoglobin meter is an essential tool. This show is called The Power of Shunya, Quest for Zero. Do you think that both these innovations really take India forward in that quest for zero health risks? Definitely, these are the, uh, the innovations, like many more which are happening in this country, will convince the young entrepreneurs that we can do it. It will show to the world that we can do it. And this will inspire a lot more people to come up with similar innovations. Dr. Devi Shetty, I know that those innovators or potential innovators who are listening right now will be really encouraged to hear your words of uh, 
well, encouragement and uh, a thumbs up to the innovations that we've already showcased. Thank you very much for sparing the time to talk to us. Thank you very much. I'm delighted. Thank you. Over the last 30 minutes, you've seen some creative and scientific solutions that could bolster healthcare in India, whether it's a virtual liver or a quick and affordable anemia tester. It's a wrap on this edition of The Power of Shunya, Quest for Zero, a show that celebrates science and innovation, technologies that could secure our future, human ingenuity that could reduce our challenges to Shunya. Till next week then, goodbye.